as we go to the tee at the ninth with the leader by two. Three wood. Yes, up there. Yes, up there. Oh, there now, one thing about about this this kid is he just idolized Ben Hogan. I mean, I know he's trying to get that steely calm from Ben Hogan. He's read all his books. He studies everything he can about him. Jason Duffner doesn't hide the fact that he really likes Ben Hogan's golf swing and has patterned his swing after it. So on the left, we have Hogan. On the right, we have Jason Duffner. Let's use the Konica Minolta BizHub Swing Vision Camera to show you some key similarities. First, as Hogan takes the club away, it's one piece with the hands lagging going back. Now Jason Duffner, as he takes it back, the same lag with the hands. Now, as Hogan goes back to the top and changes directions, he's going to get wide in the takeaway, but then watch as he starts back down. He's going to really tuck the right elbow into his rib cage. He's going to really start to unwind his lower body and look at that narrow position on the way down. Jason Duffner on the right does exactly the same thing. Wide with the left arm in the takeaway, but then tucks the right elbow in and gets very narrow on the way down. So that's wide to narrow as they start back down. And then as Hogan releases going through, he continues to turn his body, fires his right hand and arm. Look at the extension and the width through the hit. Jason Duffner on the right, the exact same thing. He releases the right hand, gets the extension. So both players are wide to narrow to wide. Think of that if you want to improve the consistency of your ball striking. Wide on the takeaway, narrow on the downswing, and then wide on the through swing. 